Hey guys, I am back today with a haul of my um, Halloween sampler from Southbound Soap Company. And these were offered early August, maybe? And they sold out pretty quick, like within a couple of hours. And she had a limit, Rachel had a limit where you could buy up to two samplers. I went ahead and bought one and then she started posting teaser pictures that the wax was going to be really adorable like it always is and that she made wax embeds this time and I was getting really, really excited and got everything here yesterday and it really is one of the cutest scent shot samplers I have ever seen and so I am going to share it with you. It has 10 scent shots and then she sent me two samples the box when it came it had if you remember like the last time that i did the unboxing of the sampler it was the same kind of idea had the tissue paper it had some candy in it which the kids snatched up really fast and my invoice and that was about it and then of course the sampler and i love the bag that she put these in super super cute so I am going to start, as always, with the samples. She did send a business card again with the Facebook page, the Instagram, and the website. And then she sent me two sets of samples. This first one is Snow Candy. Oh, that bag is really loud. Sorry, guys. This first one is Snow Candy which is her Lush Snow Fairy dupe. So bubble gum and cotton candy, that type of a scent. And the little ice cream tarts. Love the ice cream tarts and the popsicle tarts and some of the other stuff she's come up with. And then these ones just about killed me. I hadn't seen this mold before but we have pumpkin cookies and they're teddy bears. They are absolutely adorable. And this is just a pumpkin bakery blend. Tiny bit spicy. I've had pumpkin cookies and milk before that had like basically this with like a little bit of a milk note added and it threw really, really well. But look how adorable the bear is. Let's see if I can get it in the light. I guess that's the best we're going to get today, folks. But it's so cute. So, so cute. And then on to the actual sampler. I'm just going to jump in here and grab a random one. So this one is Graveyard Spells. And they all have really cute labels on the side. This one is a blend of blueberry, which is blueberry, strawberry, vanilla, and sweet sugar, and a Love Spell uh, Victoria's Secret dupe. Let's see if I can get this lighting any better. Okay, that's a little better. Look how cute. It is so adorable and it smells great. The love spell is really prominent. Absolutely prominent on the love spell. And then the blueberry is in there too. But it this one is really, really yummy fragrance. And the grave gravestone is so cute. This one is Poison Pie, and this one is Blueberries, Granny Smith Apples, Buttery Cream, and Cinnamon with a Fresh Baked Crust. And that one is what that one looks like. It's a gray wax with the like purple and cream colored crumbles on it, and then glitter. And this one really does 
the blueberry is going to be, the blueberry and the cinnamon, I think, are going to be the main notes in this one. I'm interested to melt this. This has a lot of notes in it. It's a really nice bakery blend that I haven't tried before. So I'm really excited for that one. Vampire Bites is a favorite. This is a fruity, fizzy blend of lime, orange, cherry, an assortment of berries, garden greens, and a touch of rock candy. And this one is just a really good, the four-year-old described it as Sprite and fruit. And we all know I love my fizzy scents. So that is that one. I love the blood spatter. Had that one before. I was glad to see it back. This one is Ghostly Brew. And this one is going to be spooky blend of cider donuts and vanilla bean noel all brewed into one ghostly treat. So if you're familiar with Bath and Body Works cider donut and you're familiar with Bath and Body Works vanilla bean noel, put those together and you've got this scent. It's a really nice fall bakery scent. How cute is the ghost? So cute. This next one is Dead of the Night, which really surprised me. This one is a blend of pink sugar, marshmallows, vanilla, and the L word, lavender. And I honestly feel like I might be able to melt this one. I don't know. The pink sugar is so prominent that I feel like I might give this one a try. And if the lavender starts getting to me, I can always shut it off. Or I may not do either. I may set it aside for a giveaway or something of that nature. Not promising anything, but this one is a good one. And if you like pink sugar and lavender and girly blends like that, you will probably love this one. And she is going to pour for the October, October restock. She is pouring Halloween scents. So there's a very good chance many, many of these will get poured. This one is Pumpkin Potion. And it is a secret pumpkin potion. That's that's all she's saying. She's not giving anything away on this one. And so we've got a secret proprietary blend, which I always think those are kind of cool, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know how to describe this. It's really good though. I mean, it's pumpkin, but not spicy. But I know there's other stuff in there. I can't. I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe apple? I don't know. I'm reaching. I'm reaching, you guys, because I don't know what I'm smelling. But it's good. Deathly Apples is another one that I had last year. That was a favorite. It is green apple, red apple, pe tropical peach blossom, and orchid. And it really, the green apple is what is mostly in there. It's more of a tart apple than a sweet apple. But um, it's really good. And this one throws like a beast. So yummy, so yummy. This was my four-year-old niece's favorite. She loves apple scent. 
This one is Tricky Treats. And this one is Pumpkin, Persimmon, and Apple with notes of blueberries, elderberries, currants, orange, and cinnamon with a hint of sugarcane and vanilla. This smells to me kind of like a farmer's market in the fall when you're at the farmer's market and you smell, and she has a blend that is specifically like a jams and jelly and pres preserves blend. This isn't that. This is more like you're smelling the pumpkins, you're smelling all the fall fruits and veggies, you're smelling spices, and just kind of everything all together. That's what this smells like to me. Very good. Then Magic Mist is the next one. This one is peach, apricot, blackberries, and mandarin with just a hint of cinnamon, rose, and musk. This is more of fruity than musky or spicy. But it is kind of a, it's a rich, like, fall fruit blend. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. And then this one here is my favorite aesthetically. And I actually, the more I smell it, the more I like it. When I first smelled it, it's a, it's an earthy, it's sandalwood, ylang ylang, patchouli, baby powder, and vanilla. So it, it's definitely a perfumey one. It is Midnight Magic. Definitely a perfumey one. The more I'm smelling it, the more I'm falling in love with it. It's actually really, really good. My first thought was, oh, but no, it's really grown on me. The more that I have sniffed it, the more I'm appreciating it. And it was my favorite one aesthetically. Look at the bat, it's so cute. Do we have good lighting on the bat? Yeah, we do. He's so cute. And then the little iridescent moon glitters and star glitters, it was just, it's so adorable. I don't know how I'm gonna melt him. He's so cute. Maybe I'll try to pry him off. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I'll probably just melt him. But I really like that scent, the more that I smell it. Um, so that is it guys. That is my Southbound Soap Company Halloween sampler. Remember she is doing samplers once a month now. Whoa. She was doing samplers once a month now. She has not poured the next ones yet or has not offered the next ones yet, but it is going to be a birthday cake sampler. So 10 tarts, different birthday cake blends. So that should be pretty exciting. And that is it for this haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.